Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, moving on to the next question. So you have a company in which you must purchase 5,000 parts from a supplier for the product you manufacture. The interest rate is 4%. And there's two questions here. So you have a choice between two suppliers below, supplier A, supplier B, which would you go with? So with supplier A, what's happening is you have to pay them $20,000 today plus $10 per part one year from now versus with supplier B you're just paying them $14.50 per part that's going to be payable one year from now and then in part B how can you go about choosing supplier A if you don't have the $20,000 today to make that down payment quote unquote today right so what you want to do here at least for part A, what you want to do is you want to see which supplier is going to have the lowest cost. But you want to see which supplier is going to have the lowest cost today. You want to compare both costs today, meaning you want to compare the present value of the cost. So with supplier A, if we draw a timeline of what's happening, what's the cost going to be? Well, we have to make a $20,000 payment today. And then in one year from now, we have to pay $10 per part, 5,000 parts, 5,000 times 10, 50,000. So those are the two costs, $20,000 today, and then 5,000 in one year. So there's two parts to the cost for supplier A. While supplier B, they don't require a payment today in time zero, but they do require a payment in one year from now at $14.50 per part. So $14.50 times $5,000 gives us $72,500. So that's the amount we're going to have to pay in one year with supplier B. And so what we want to do is compare the present value of both costs and then take the lowest cost. So notice that the cost, uh, you know what, let's call it the present value of the cost. For supplier A, what's it going to be? Well, it's going to be the $20,000 today. We don't have to present value that amount because that is already today. It's already present value. It's already in time zero. However, this 50,000, we're going to have to present value. And so if we do it algebraically using the formula, um, present value is future value over one plus R to the power T. I'll also show you how to do it with the financial calculator. So taking this, dividing it by 1 plus 0 0.04 to the power of 1, right? We're present valuing it for one year. Interest rate is 4%, and that has to be a decimal when you do it algebraically. When you put it into the financial calculator, it's going to be the whole percent. And so what would happen is you'd end up with 20000 And then over here, when you do this calculation, uh, 50,000 divided by 1.04 to the power of 1, which is just 1.04, you'd end up with $48,077 if we um, round it to the nearest dollar. And so adding these up, we would get $68,077. That's what the present value of the cost is going to be for supplier A. Now, if you wanted to get this value with the financial calculator, future value would be 50,000. The interest rate is 4%. We're present valuing it for one year. There's no other payments in between. And we'd solve for that PV. When you solve for that PV, you should get that amount right there. Right, so whichever way you do it manually or with the financial calculator to get this amount here, then you add the 20000 today, so that's the present value of the cost for supplier A. Now moving on to supplier B, 
Again, with supplier B, we don't have to worry about any cost today, but there is this cost here, 72,500 in the future. So we're gonna have to present value that. So we can either input it here, then these inputs would stay the same. And then when you solve for this PV, you'd end up with $69,712. So that's going to be the present value of the cost. For supplier B. Uh, if you did this manually, you would just take present value, you would take the future value, divide it by one plus 0 0.04, to the power of one, to the power of one year. Add these 1.04, 72,500 divided by 1.04 would give you that same amount, 69,712. Right, so whichever way you do it, the calculator or manually, that's the present value of the 72,500. So that's the present value of the cost for supplier B. And those are the two numbers you wanna compare between these, which is the lower cost supplier A. So that's the supplier that uh, you would go with. Even though you gotta make that payment today, when you incorporate time value of money, that larger payment in one year is gonna be more expensive for you. All right, so you'd go with supplier A because the present value of the cost is lower. Now, part B, it's an interesting question, they're saying, what if you don't have the 20,000 today? How would you still go about going with supplier A? And then how can you show that it's better to go with supplier A? Well, what you can do is you can, for part B, borrow 20,000 from the bank or it doesn't have to be from a bank, we could just say borrow $20,000 at 4%. And then pay back the future value of that in one year. And so what would happen is if you borrow the 20,000 today, you're gonna have to pay that back in one year so you'd have to pay back the future value of that 20,000. And so if you borrow 20,000 today, so uh, if you're borrowing it, you're getting money positive. The interest rate is 4%, you're borrowing it for one year, there's no other payments in between. When you solve for that future value, you'd end up getting uh, 20,800. So that's the total amount you're going to have to pay back to whoever you borrowed it from at 4%. So that's the amount. This would actually be negative, meaning you got to pay that back. So you got to pay this back and you have to pay the 50,000 to the supplier. Right? So notice what are your costs going to be? Actually, one more thing I want to mention is um, you could do this manually too. All right, so this would be 20,000 times 1.04, which would give you 2,800. So whichever way you get the future value with the calculator or manually. So you got to pay back, let's say the bank, this amount and you have to pay the supplier that amount. So notice that your total cost in one year is going to be 70,800, which is lower than the 72,500 here. So it's just another way to show it. So whether we present value the costs or we future value all the costs, the 50,000, the 72,500, those are already future valued. But if we future value the 20,000, even when we take that amount, add it, it's gonna be lower than this amount.
So that's another way to show that you would go with supplier A. That's not what part B was asking for, but I kind of wanted to show you the scenario of what would happen. So what would happen is you would borrow 20,000 from the bank, you'd receive 20,000 today, pay the supplier with that 20,000. So notice how you haven't spent any of your own money yet. But then in one year, you're gonna have to pay the bank this, and you're gonna have to pay the supplier that yourself. And so in one year, you'd have to make a payment of 70,800. Versus if you went with supplier B in one year, you'd have to make a payment of 72,500. So this would be lower, right? So just another perspective. Again, usually when you get a question like that and you're comparing suppliers, you usually compare the present value of the, uh, of the cost. But just another way to show it, whichever way you do it, supplier A is the one you'd go with.